Is there anything you don't want to discuss? Oh, gosh, that's a big question. No, let's go for it. All right. It's a little one. He's greasing up. He hasn't been used for a while. <laughs> OK, man. Where are we? Okay. And we are back between two yeses, and it is day one. Technically, it's just gone 12, right? Just gone. Just gone. And I'm with Abby McGrath. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thank M you. McGrath or McGrath? McGrath. McGrath, is that a more polite, po posh way of saying it? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's yeah. say it is. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Oxford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in Bedford. There's a lot, that's a lot less posh. Bedford? Yeah. That little known super yacht capital of yeah. the UK. It's, yeah. It is quite funny actually, because the UK is so small, it doesn't matter where you are, you're only two hours from a coast. And 20 minutes from Luton Airport. <laughs> you're really living the life. <laughs> no. And when Luton Airport's the highlight of where you live, you know something's wrong, You know right? something's very <laughs> drastic. <laughs> I can't help it. I have to do a video bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. You know, Abby is the absolute best. And then there's Lee. Mwah. Mwah. Listen, she needs no introduction. No, Have none. a great show. See you later. See you, Norma. <laughs> so let's... let's come, we'll come to our e-crew in a bit. Because okay, that's, okay. that's your claim to... That, that's what you do. That's, that's who what you are. I do, yeah. Um, so you're originally from Oxford. I guarantee you probably studied literature or something like that? I did. Right, okay. <laughs> as an undergraduate, I then did business as a postgraduate. Okay, right. And then how did that- <laughs> There's not a lot of money in literature. And then did you go to be crew? No, 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 no. So then, so I did a postgrad in Barcelona and wanted to stay in Barcelona. And the job that I found was a temporary job working for Bellingham Marine and a do you know Bellingham? Yes, Amazing of company. So I was with them for nearly eight years. And with Bellingham? Yeah, they're Who's amazing. Who's the big guy? Steve Ryder's based Steve here. Steve Ryder, that's it, yeah. Sorry, Steve. But yeah, he just Why installed the docks in, because I knew who you meant by, by the big guy. Steve is big. He's <laughs> what, is six, big. five or something? He is, yeah, yeah, he yeah, is yeah, just yeah. a... And wonderful. wonderful they just yeah. installed docks in Lauderdale Marine Centre. I went to see it yesterday. So yeah, so I was I was with Bellingham. Uh, yeah. And it was meant to be a temporary thing, but it worked out really well. And Were you in Dubai then? No, no. So we I was working for Bellingham Marine Europe. Right. And we built the Port Forum in Barcelona and then the extension of the yacht club in Valencia for the America's Cup down there. All right, because I was in Dubai in 2008. I love this chaps just in 2000. front. 2008. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see us. So I was in Dubai in 2008. Right. And there was this big campaign for getting the docks for the Anchor Marinas okay. and um, the Palm Islands and stuff like that. Yeah. And so I know Bellingham and um, we are just going to have... <laughs> Your, your ass is going to be on camera most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. I mean, if the camera has been melted away, it's um, It's fine when they move, but when they hover, no. Um, and so there was this mass, mass rush for um, pontoon builders. Right. And there was, uh, so I know quite a bit about pontoons. Uh, oh, the, I can talk to you French about pontoons company? all day. Um, SF Marine? SF Marine, SF yeah. Marine. See, I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. And yeah, they were fantastic. Marine, Marine Tech. There's a lot of good companies yeah. out there, but Bellingham's the best. But Bellingham's the best, of yeah. course. So I was with them for, yeah, I think eight years. And then you started A-Crew. And then I, um, then I was the selling broker for uh, Marina Port Bell. What? So, yeah. So then I managed that for a year. I introduced the company that bought it and went through all the due diligence process. So I did that. And then I started A-Crew. Good Lord. Yeah. Bellingham, Marina Port Vale. Yeah. And now the, a -crew. wow. Yeah. So Marina's was my So you were, my you're, you were Norma's predecessor. Uh, I only worked on the project up until they acquired the marina. 
and then I chose to start my own company rather than stay working with the marina. Okay, so, A crew. <laughs> yeah. What was the intention when you first started it? Um, okay, I started it because I worked with marinas. Marinas want to attract the yachts and primarily they're looking to uh, talk to captains and crew. And the only means to do that then... Hey! How are you? <laughs> it's all right. Just the only... <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, this is going to have to... Maybe we have to cut this up into ten parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the only way to... Um, for marinas to talk to captains and crew then, I mean, this was sort of... Now you've got much more online options, um, was through advertising, traditional advertising that's very passive. So I wanted to build a platform that would have knowledge exchange and conversation between shore-based companies and captains and crew. So that's where the platform came from. So actually, so you're the you're the link. You're the, the person who puts. Ah. So it's quite interesting. So like in our seminars in Monaco, we've got a really nice, probably 50-50 mix of businesses and crew attending the seminars. Because I think traditionally you get one group or the other. It's hard to get both. And then in all of our events, all of our workshops are run by companies that have something to say or something to share with captains and crew. So it's kind of bringing everyone together. That's the so idea. How, okay, so it's your own business. How long did it take before you started making... What, when was the first time you turned a profit? Or are, or are you yet? Well, to be honest, we reinvest in the company every year. So we've been growing and growing. Um, so I've, I've, I've had my own businesses all my life, so it's You know what struggle. that's like. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I certainly didn't pay myself to begin with. Um, I've now got three business partners. Um, that when we, we manage the company and you all work together. together. Yeah. It's so um, much better when you've got people who have equity in it and working in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's great. And we've got a team of, I think we're 15 now. 15? So I think so. I think so, yeah. Um, thank you very much. How long, have you, how long have you been going? Seven years. This is, yeah, we're coming up to our eighth year. 15 people? Yeah. Good lord. And growing. So we've got our head offices in Mallorca. And then we've got our Dutch team Where do you live in now? Northern Holland, in and I live in Bedford, Where are you in Bedford, and I'm building the sales team there. Because I've got a 10-month-old baby and a three-year-old girl, oh, okay. and I am here in Florida without them, and I can only, that can only happen because I've got amazing family that help. Oh, right. So okay. if I was living in Mallorca, I wouldn't be able to you do You see, this. the trouble is, the opportunity this industry affords you is that you can live. Yeah. As I, as I left the house today, I was like, Outside of Bedford. this is the most perfect day yeah. in the world. Yeah. It's just hot. It's, it's a slight breeze. Cloud cover. I did a workout this morning under palm trees in Norman's garden. <laughs> like, I'm like, why am I living in Bedfordshire, England? Bedford. Because of family. Because of family. Fair enough. And would I change it? No. It's a choice, you know? Yeah. And, um, but I get to travel to these places, so it's pretty amazing. So, Acre, as far as I understand, I saw the awards that you've just done. Yes. Lovely idea. Thank you very Lovely much. Lovely idea. So, what, what are the categories? Like, so, there was, this year there were 17, and it was all like. 17? Yeah, because for every. You know, how long did it take to get through? Actually, only an hour and a bit, but we did it through a three course meal. Oh, so okay. we, had, we had like singers and entertainers on stage and then we did the awards as people had dinner and drinks and kept them stocked with wine and yeah, it was good we were we kept it quite snappy though and um because it's like yeah best captain best chief stew best deckhand best purser so you go through all the different positions on board and then there are some categories like for leadership or team player which could come from any department and then a couple of whole crew ones. So best charter yacht crew, best private yacht crew. So who's nominating? Who nominates? Yeah. So this has been such a huge process. It's taken up our whole year. Anyone could nominate. Primarily we target crew to nominate one another because they know okay. best. But you might know a fantastic captain and he deserves recognition. And it actually doesn't matter who tells us. Oh, I like that. So if I... If I happen to come into contact with someone, yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're good. No drugs. We're it's, right. it's either drugs or bombs. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that word. 
Oh, yeah, it would be, yeah, no, right. Never say that word at a boat show. Jupiter, right? Um. <laughs> What's my train of thought? Um, nomination. Nomination. So if I happen to have a really good interaction with a captain or a yeah. steward, I can nominate yeah. them to your award. Holy moly, that's fantastic. Because it does. What's the award? What do you get? So, well, it's not about prizes. You get the recognition. So I mean, they, they, we see, did the get trouble some is, prizes. this isn't going to work in America because it's all about, about everyone prizes. gets a sort of prize. We did. I mean, we had we had sponsors that wanted to give things to the winners, so they did get things given. But it's really not about that. And nobody, none of the crew were looking for it either. Because I think then people have the wrong motivation and it's trying to get away from that and look at actually the integrity of working. I can working. see where you're going with this. So on your CV or your resume here in America, yeah. you'll have A Crew Best Student yeah. Award yeah. 2018. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so the process is... They need a rosette. They need, you know... We, we give maybe them... Maybe a McDonald's, yeah, like, star We give them a certificate and a trophy. <laughs> they have their glass trophy that they can take. Oh, you get a trophy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a... And then you send that back to mum and dad. And exactly. they have it on their thing. Exactly. Whilst you're on the boat. So it's really nice. That's such okay. a good idea. Um, That's such a good idea. Yeah, so it worked really, really. So nominations, anyone can nominate. Why hasn't anybody done this before? I don't know. That's, I've, and I've wanted to do it since I started A Crew, but we had to get big enough and enough reach. And now we've got over 12,000 members and we're everywhere. How many boat crew are there? I was told 30,000. I was going to say, it depends anywhere between 30 and 70,000, depending on who you ask. I think right. probably. 50,000, I would say. 50,000 in the... 40 to 50. And what's a super yacht? You've got, and what's a super yacht? What's a super yacht? I would say over 100 feet, 24 meters. Okay, I would right. say, what, 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 what do you think? Well, that's the terminology the uh, super yacht group gives, I know. But yeah. there's, there's many definitions of super yacht, mega yachts. I mean, very few of the boats in a Gin Palace, that's an old, that was an old phrase, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Powers. All right, so 50,000 crew on but 40, 50, typically yeah. work. Yeah, because there's a lot of rotation crews so that allows for a lot yeah. more people. Um, but yeah, so we had 200 nominations and then we open up to all of our crew members to vote and we had over 10,000 votes. And then we had a team of 30 judges that were predominantly captains and heads of departments. And then they deliberated on the different award categories. And we did a video interview with each of the finalists. So we sent them questions and then they recorded themselves. Um, I think using... this is fantastic. Yeah. This and is then really the good. judges can watch the interviews alongside the CV and the references and everything. So, you know, there was uh, one of the award categories was about environmental awareness, the sustainability award. So then the interview questions were saying like, you know, what do you actually do that makes you environmentally conscious and how do you inspire other people and what message do you want to send out and what do you want to achieve and they can then tell their story and so the judges then have something that they can really use to measure like yeah. who should who deserves to win good lord yeah that's really good so and a, was, the rest of a crew then because i can see the awards being this whole thing in its so, own right. Yeah, and we would love to do it here as well. Like, we'd love to do, because it was very You almost have to have a Europe, an yeah. American version. I think so. It's partly why I'm here at the show. Ah, OK. <laughs> I love the, the nominating. So what else does A-Crew do then? So, so the awards is a big thing, and then we do a series of events. Next year, I think we're doing about 15 events. Now, are these the bog standard typical networking events? No, they're... So A crew signature events tend to be two days of workshops and then you'll have a lunch in there, a happy the hour crew party. So we do workshops for all departments. So it's not certificate training, but it is it's, a brush up. it's training on a on a topic area. So for interior crew it might be about cigars or it might be about synchronized service. For engineers it might be about the diesel bug. For captains, it might be about management styles or communication techniques or new technological innovations coming out. And it's short and sharp, two yeah, days. Yeah, so Because there's a lot of training companies. Are you, I, I mean, are you sort of like... We work with training companies because we're not selling training. Right. So 
Um, so for example, one of our partners is the Crew Academy and they train interior crew and they do workshops at all of our events. And actually, it's great because crew will come and the, only, the thing that we always say to partners is no sales pitch. You sell by showing your knowledge. Yeah. You know, nobody's coming off the boat to be sold to. That's not cool. And they're definitely not going to buy from you if that's what you try and do. I think that's almost where it's we're at in the industry now. Hard yeah. sells. No, no one, no one wants it. <laughs> John just what, John's, John's been on camera for the last three weeks. I've been shadowing him. Oh, really? And now he just, he just finds He, he can't get enough. He just finds it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey John. Um, yeah. So, the, so there's, a, there's a membership thing I saw. Yeah, and um, but with the events, sorry, if I could just on that. So some events are within boat shows, like in Monaco, and then other events are in like St Kitts or the Bahamas or St Martin, and yachts will actually travel to come to the events. So, wow. Yeah. Blimey, okay. Because it's improving, it's great for building the team, it's great for training the team. Often our destination partners will offer free dockage. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a win-win. A win-win. Win -win. Yeah. So you really, you, you kind of like the, the um, it's gonna, I don't know, why am I going to use that analogy? I'm going to say, no, it's a horrible word. Go on, go on. I was going to say, you're not the glue. I was going to say slime, but no, you're, no, you're like yeah, the, no, we're not. Slime. You're like the bond. You're bringing every <laughs> no, because it's a horrible color. But you're bringing. You're, you, you've got. There are all these different facets of the industry, and you're kind of like yeah. greasing them. Yeah, yeah, bonding, yeah, yeah. I get that. You get where I'm saying. Yeah. But you're not gluing it. It's kind of like a jelly. Jello. Yeah, we're sort of. <laughs> we're the jelly. And that should be our tagline. The, yeah, we're the we're jelly. The, we're, the je we're the jello of the super industry. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Don't take anything I say <laughs> <laughs> back to home. <laughs> Good Lord. All right, so the future of A Crew then, it's really only just beginning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of room for growth. So you, we've got the membership, the Vessel membership, um, which is, that's been years in development as well. So the Vessel membership, the Vessels pay, because for captains and crew, it's free to be in A Crew. They don't pay anything. Um, but. Hmm. For vessels, there's an annual fee, and they get access to our global marina loyalty program. So, all right, you said there's nothing off camp that I'm not allowed to talk about. Right. When you first, when I first heard about your business, yeah, it did seem like it was a great way of giving captains. What the membership? Which, the loyalty program. The loyalty program. How? Because yeah, I'm very anti that. How, well, how would this is be? one of the topics we're going to discuss yeah. on the live program: is spiffs, backhanders, well, what's yeah, in it I mean, for me it's, type. Thing. It's terrible, and this is an actual fact. The membership is the exact opposite of that because it is tangible, direct savings for the owner. I mean, right. we already do so much for captains and crew. Like, we're already providing free learning opportunities, networking events. Like, we get really high. Um, read rates and, and opt-ins on the data compliancy stuff because basically we're giving free stuff to captains and crews so that's cool but the membership is all about saving money for owners so it's the opposite it's of the opposite of backhanders backhanders yeah. so for example hmm. marinas that are part of our loyalty program we the agreement is you've got whatever price agreement you've got with that yacht or that management company, but our loyalty program, you also offer one night free berthing per week as a typical offer. So you've got your price, but you get this additional benefit. They're getting promotion to our network of vessels and you know, hopefully new clients, and our clients are getting discounts, financial savings. This is great. Mm. And we've got a marketplace. I knew you were one of my favorite people. Thank it's just I haven't much. seen you for I know. I've been looking forward six, to this. I love years. what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Well, this is why, because we get to hear. <laughs> Uh, the, what, the, what, the great thing I like about Opportunity Edits is there's no microphone. Yeah. And it's not a, it's not an opportunity for you to sit here and sell me something or sell them something. It's, yeah. t you know, let's talk about what's yeah. you and what's happened. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I'm kind yeah. of forgetting there's a camera there. I'm not, in case I'm fucking... <laughs> 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 Which has happens. happened already. <laughs> Blimey. Well, it's wonderful to see you, and you're only, you're here on a flying visit. Yeah, yeah, leaving literally leaving tomorrow night because I've got a wedding on Friday, so <clears throat> got to get it all in. Is it that period in, in, in your 
and your friends' lives where it's weddings, babies, a mortgages. Lot. A lot, a lot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yours? It all happens in that sort of realm, doesn't yeah. it? We're, I'm not allowed to ask age, but I understand that there's this... Let's say late 30s. And I've got, yeah, and I've got um, two little ones. I'm done, like I'm not having any more, but two is Does he a know lot that? of work. My We're, husband, yeah. very much so. He's very much <laughs> supporting that as well, yeah. That's over. That boat has sailed. <laughs> well, welcome to the new entrance of the show. Thank you very much. It is... You'll be amazed. When you go in, you will be amazed how much better it is. Really? Yeah. Coming over the bridge, looking at the yachts was incredible. I've not been here for six years. I'm super excited. Yeah. And, and he's one of the guys who's actually put it together. Oh, wow. You've got, got the drinks already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Thank you. Really good. Thank you.